in this video i'm going to be sharing with you three major methods that you can use to resize your ai generated images from squareshape to the youtube standard size which is 16 by 9. i'm going to be saving the best for the last so do well to watch this video till the very end and give it a thumbs up if it was really helpful to you so the first method is the cap cuts method okay so you come here and open your cap cuts app after you must have generated your ai images either from bing um image creator or from the um meta ai generator or from your whatsapp wherever you have generated it but it's not the same size that youtube requires not to worry the first thing you want to do is you want to come here and locate and click on photos and then look for a very good picture um so we're going to be using this one then we click on add okay before now there's this magic expand option on this cap cuts app that was available for free but recently cap cuts um, move that particular feature onto their pro version so once you um, add your image here the next thing for you to do is come to the bottom here and scroll to aspect ratio yes aspect ratio this one right here do you locate and click on 16 by 9 which is the youtube size okay you can see after we have clicked on 16 by 9 our image is not filling the page okay so before now what i would have done is i'll click on this image and make sure the image is highlighted the way it is then we'll locate and click on magic expand okay which is now ai expand right here can you see but this option might not be available for you if you're not using the pro version or if um if you recently updated your um, cap cut app okay so we're going to locate and click on 16 by 9 which is the youtube size then the next thing is for us to do what tell the ai what we want it to do okay i typed in here fill up the space and make it look real so before now i could um generate this and cap cuts will automatically expand this so if you still have this option don't update your cap cuts app just continue enjoying it and you click on generate and this will automatically generate for you but now as you can see i cannot do that i have to pay canva pro to be able to do this okay so now let's go back so if you have that option kindly use it okay if you don't have the option and you still want to use this image um you have to make sure that your image is of the right size because the only option you have here is to pinch and use your hand to zoom this image like this to fill in the space and the bad thing about this is that it will definitely cut off some of your images okay can you see now the baby has been cut off <laughs> okay so now this brings us to option number two which is the canva okay so i'm going to open my canva app then you go to the search bar and search for youtube thumbnail okay this is that will give you the exact size of the youtube thumbnail so i'm just going to be using a space here that i've already used okay so this particular image i recently just expanded it using canva okay this can only be done on canva pro and getting canva pro for free is actually very easy just come to youtube here and search for how to get canva pro for free follow the instruction and you will get access to canva pro okay so once you have canva pro um under your team under your team profile that you just joined on the canva pro is where you can actually do this there is one image that i recently expanded right here so i'm going to be showing you another one let's go so i'll just move this one to the side and then um i'll click just click out just click on any space right here then i'll click on um, gallery my phone gallery so that i can pick an image to fit into this space so this is the image so the next thing you want to do now is to click on fx can you see this fx so you click on fx and you scroll to the side until you see magic expand this one that has this b okay you click on it then you scroll to the side again and click on 16 by 9 which is the youtube standard size the next thing you want to do is click on magic expand in purple color and you wait for canva to do its magic and guys this is what we have the awesome thing about canva is that it will give you four different options that you can choose from so we can choose this we can decide to choose this or we decide to choose this um i think the best one is actually this one right here so i'm just going to click on this and i'll click on done okay so once you click on done the next thing is for you to now you can manually use your hand to expand this image using all these corners here just to make sure it feels the space okay like this and that is it or you could let me show you the other method is you could just click on the image then come to this place and scroll to the side once the image is clicked then click on more 
Scroll to the side again and click on set image as. Then it will set the image as your background. So these are the two methods by which you can use to fill up the space with this image. Okay. So this is the image that I filled in before. And uh, so this is what the old image looks like. And you can see that the, this part of the core pots has been cut off. So it was this magic expand on Canva that did this magic for us and took the picture from this to this. Okay. So that is the second method you can use to expand your image using um, Canva. Okay. The third and the easiest method to um, expand your image is by not expanding it at all. So once you come to Leonardo.ai, you have to sign up. Of course, we sign up on almost every website now, so you should know how to sign up. So you sign up by, you know, using your email, um, username, and also you create a strong password. Okay. I already have an account with them. So I'm just going to click on get started. So we'll wait for it to load. Um, please, if you want to use this app and you want it to generate a 16 by 9 size image for you, then you need to switch to the desktop version. So how do you switch to the desktop version? You just have to click on the three dots at the top right corner here. This is the menu bar. So this is the menu bar for this website. And this is the menu bar for this browser that I'm using, which is Chrome browser. So you locate and click on this three dotted line or three dots at you on your browser it could be down it could be up depending on the browser you're using and once you click on it you take it to um you switch you switch to desktop sites can you see you switch to desktop sites and once you switch to desktop sites you'll be able to have access to everything that leonardo ai has to offer can you see the beauty that awaits you can you see this so it's going to be displaying to you as if it is displaying on your laptop this is beautiful okay so the next thing we want to do is we want to zoom in here and click on image creation so you click on image creation and then you zoom out these are the previous images i created recently okay um so if you want to um generate an image here you type in your prompts at this place okay at this place so i have a prompt already so i'm just going to paste the prompt here and i'll come to this side before i click on generate i'll come to this side this sidebar right here this place yes can you see this okay so this is where you select the type of image you want to generate the size the the numbers of images and the likes okay so um if you click here you would find out that there are so many options to choose from okay so just pick any one that catches your fancy you can always play with this you can always play with this so every day on leonardo.ai you have 150 free um, coins that you can use to generate image so like i said you zoom into this place and come here so you come here and click on 16 by 9 this 16 by 9 is youtube size so whatever image it generates for you it will be in youtube size so you don't even have to um upscale rescale resize or uh, magic expand no it's going to generate the original size you want for you okay so you can see this um, quality image is actually premium you can see that um this large size is also premium medium and small is available for us then this is where you create the number of images it, it can generate for you just leave it at four if you try to reduce it or increase it it will ask you to pay for the pro version and this contrast let's leave it at medium the way it is um preset style vibrant cinematic creative fashion and food you can see all these things you can always try it out just try it out and see what it gives you so that you can know the best one that fits what you want to do so once you have set all this come to this advanced settings and come and do more okay come and set up more things to do so you can see this real photo is only available for premium okay then you can click here to see all other options that are available for you so this is where you can okay click on any one of them and see the type of image it will generate for you and then you now know the one that you can use in particular so here there's this negative prompt so you can choose what you don't want to see in your image like sometimes it generates multiple hands it might generate three different hands or four different legs so you can write all those kind of things once you turn it on here it will bring you another box somewhere here and you'll be able to add your negative prompt if you want your this thing to be transparent you can do it here um tailing i don't really know what that is useful and uh, use fix it i don't really know what that is useful you can also try it out and see what it gives you so once you are done and satisfied with your settings um I, you know i've pasted my prompt here so i'll just click um, on generate and you can see it will require 14 coins from our 150 free coins so i'll just click on generate then we'll wait for this image to generate it's going to generate four images for us so let's wait and see the magic wow 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 see the images that leonardo.ai has generated for us um, wow look at this 
Look at this. Look at this. They look so beautiful and so real. So you can you can see this. So I can just tap on this small arrow that is beside here to move it to the next to show me the next image. This small arrow, don't do arrow here. Okay, can you see? And I can change it to the next one to see. Can you see this? Wow. Okay, so with Leonardo.ai, you can generate a 16 by 9, which is the YouTube standard size from scratch. So if you are not using Leonardo.ai to generate your AI images for your folktale channels, I don't know why you are stressing yourself. Okay, if you want to generate consistent images, my previous video addressed that. And I'm going to be leaving the link of that video in the description box so that you can check it out. And um, don't forget um, for you to generate a consistent image all you have to do is you have to have a base prompt and you have to have a dynamic prompt a base prompt will contain the name of your actor the gender the um, country or state or wherever the person is from um, their air look their dressing um, their facial expression and so many other things like that so the only thing that you now have to change which is your dynamic prompt is what's your um your actor is doing is she cooking is she dancing is she sweeping is she laughing is it whatever is she driving okay whatever your actor is doing then that is the only thing that will change don't worry you will find the link to that video in the description so you can watch it and learn how to create consistent images for your folktale youtube channel so i hope you learned something amazing from this video if you did do well to subscribe that is the only way to say thank you to me and don't forget to like it and if you have anything you want me to create in the nearest future please leave it in the comment section i will do well to attend to it and if you don't have anything to tell me just say thank you in the comment section and I really love to know where you're watching this from. Just, you can say thank you and type in your location. Okay. So all that being said, I remain my humble self, Rukayat Alimi, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Subscription is absolutely free and it will not take anything away from you. I love you. Bye.